<laughs> yes, it is. It's because everyone's at the main house getting ready for New Year's. It's a really big deal for us. It's one time of year that we all get together, so there's a lot to do. Uh. Know what? From that tree line road outside the gate to the main house over there, everyone who lives around here, they're all related to the Soma family. <gasps> all of them? That's incredible. Shigure and Yuki, they used to live here too, a long time ago. <sighs> the only ones who can live inside the gates are members of the Zodiac like me, or people who know about the secret. Uh -huh. It is exceedingly rare that a complete outsider such as yourself should come to learn of it. Did you know that Hari can barely see out of his left eye? Uh -huh. Hari had a girlfriend once, Kana. She worked as his assistant for a while. And I remember she was really nice. When she found out about Hari and the Zodiac and all, it didn't even bother her. She just laughed about it. They got engaged and they were going to get married, but when they told Akito, well, he got really, really angry. And he said that he wasn't going to allow it. I guess his temper got out of control because that's when he hurt Hari's eye. But Hari didn't blame him though. And Kana, she blamed herself. She was convinced that Hari getting hurt like that was all her fault. She couldn't forgive herself. And it gradually started to eat her away inside. So Hari did the only thing he could do. He erased Kana's memories. He couldn't stand to watch her tearing herself apart over him. So he made her forget that the two of them had ever been in love. Kana left. Hari cried. And in spite of all of that, he never once blamed Akito. Why? Well, because that's the curse. That's why I can understand a little bit of what Hari feels. He doesn't want anyone else to end up like Kana did. He doesn't want you to be hurt, the same way she was. Uh, Toru? Are you crying? Was it me? Did I make you cry? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? No, that's not it. It's just that... I was so worried about coming here. And the whole time, he just wanted to help me. He was just being kind. But after what he's been through, he's the one who deserves to be shown kindness. Not me. I'll go get something to warm us up, okay? I'll be right back. You can go inside if you want. It's snowing. I knew it would snow today. I'm sorry, I... I guess I don't really know anything at all about the Somas, I... And there's no reason why you should. In fact, it would be best if you forgot whatever it is Momiji told you. Does that mean... you've forgotten about her, Tori? It's... all in the past. I'm sorry. There's nothing to apologize for. I do still speak with Kana from time to time, but that's all. Now I wonder if you would be so kind as to excuse me. I believe I've said enough for one day. <sighs> oh no, please. I'd really like it if you'd stay. Maybe you could show me around the house. <gasps> oh. um. Soma, it's nice to meet you. I'll be your new assistant as of today, so whatever you need me to do, just say the word. <laughs> this is a little strange, huh? I guess we're part of the same family, and I've never even seen you before. 
But when I told my friends I'd be working with you, they all warned me you'd be handsome. This will be your desk. And these are today's charts. You'll want to start looking uh, over. It's snowing! I knew it would snow today. Say, here's a question for you. When the snow melts, what does it become? The answer is water, of course. Bzz, bzz. Nope, it becomes spring. I think spring is my favorite time of year. Oftentimes in memory, there is a tendency to overly romanticize the people we care about. I know this, and in spite of this fact, the truth remains. She was my spring. Yes, if as Akito said, I had become the first snow in the dark, secretive world of the Somas, then she was the fresh, vibrant spring, full of life and light. It seems almost inevitable now, the way we were drawn to each other. It was the beginning of a beautiful dream. And then... She found out. Well, water? No, seawater! I don't know! Which one is it? What do I do? I'm sorry! I will say this, at least. If you threw a real seahorse into the tub like that, it would probably die. I was afraid of that. I was so shaken up, I couldn't think. But I guess I finally know the reason. I've been wondering why it was you never wanted to hold me. It's because you were afraid, is that it? You were afraid of what would happen if I found out? That's why you keep your distance from people, especially the ones you love. But you don't have to be afraid. Not of me. Hattori, I'm so glad to have met you. And I'm even happier to have fallen in love with you. I want to stay with you. I wept. For the first time in my life, I felt as though I had been allowed something. As though I had been saved from something. I could not stop the tears. They were the frozen snow melted by the first warm breath of spring. I lost myself in the dream. And I laughed as never before. As though years of happiness had been compressed into each and every new moment we share. Kana and I wish to be married. But all dreams must end. No! I won't allow it! I refuse to allow it! Hattori, what's wrong? Hattori, you did this! This is your fault! If Hattori loses his sight, it's your fault! It's your fault! Akito! Hattori! Do you think you can lift the Soma curse? Do you? Kana, hurry! Take Let Hattori out of here! Let me go! You can't lift the curse! We don't need you! You're worthless to us! It's your fault! It's your fault! It's all your fault! No matter what I said,